All right, I need to talk to you about something serious. Uh, I do something wrong? It's time for you to meet Kenny Cruz. Okay, isn't that a good thing? Yes, it's a great thing, but there's one more hurdle. Well, two, actually. Okay, it's not like I haven't cleared 2,000 hurdles already, but I know. how bad can this be? Listen, it's not bad, but it's something I do need you to take seriously. All right, what's up? So Kenny has these two friends, all right? Their mm -hmm. names are Edgar and Herschel, and they're kind of like his last line of defense. Okay, so what I gotta do, like, play them in a game of horse, solve a riddle, pat my head, rub yeah, my belly? Yeah, you gotta answer trivia for them. NBA <laughs> and street ball. Oh, Trivia, <laughs> trivia. MP, <laughs> hey. All right, all right, all right, but why are you so stressed about this, Mila? Because... You know I'm a basketball player, right? Like, this is my thing. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, then who was the MVP of the 1967 NBA Finals? That's easy. So the Sixers won that year, and the only reason why I know it because, like, the inverse of 6-7 six, seven is 7-6, seven, whatever. Um, Will Chamberlain was the best player that year, mm -hmm. so... I'm going with Will Chamberlain. That's pretty good. Thank you, I know. But the finals MVP wasn't awarded until 1969, when it was given to Jerry West of the Los Angeles Lakers oh, no, for the first time. I, I knew that, I was testing you. Mm -hmm. I knew that. MP, <laughs> take these guys seriously. All right, all right, Edgar and Herschel, sure. Okay, I know you're just joking around right now, but look at me and tell me that you hear me, because this is important. You're right. I respect the process. It's a, a weird process, but I respect it, okay? Good. You can find Edgar and Herschel playing chess at their tables near Hammond Park, answer their trivia, get mm -hmm. the go-ahead to meet Kenny, and you're gonna be one step closer to taking down Shep. Gentlemen, it must be Herschel and Edgar. Oh, and you must be another young kid hoping to get us a vouch for you. <laughs> I guess you wanna talk to Kenny. You sure I'm taking your time? It's your move, Edgar. I mean, was that that obvious? Been hanging in this park for 34 years. Yeah, and every few weeks, another young sapling who think ball started with Lonzo show up trying to sweet talk Herschel and I here and uh, possibly scoring themselves an intro to the man, the myth, the legend, Kenny Crew. No, 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 hold, hold on. That's not me at all. Trying to get us to vouch for you, we know all about it, right? And you probably don't have the skills to earn it. Kenny doesn't just let anyone play in the tournament, you yeah, know? Yeah, I've, I've seen this dude play. Yeah, he's got some skills. Yo, thanks, fam. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, no, hold on. You DJ, right? That's me. I didn't even see you there. There's history in every corner. Yo, you, know? you was, uh, you played in that tournament at the Proving Grounds, right? In 2017. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, you booked yourself a ticket to the NBA with that one. Everybody knows that story. Yeah, <laughs> likely because it sounds so implausible. The young man here taking a two-year respite to pursue music, puts on one rousing street ball performance, and suddenly finds himself on the NBA roster. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have spun you that tail, you'd say, well, that sounds mighty far-fetched. Well, I mean, it still shows that I know more than you thought. A and your boy, DJ, says I got skills. This guy, hold on, man. I say you got some skills. Some. Yeah, we only half listen to him anyway. <laughs> and it was uh, 2018. Yeah, but he was close. Okay, I, right, I. Right. Quiz me now. I've been watching ball since I was a kid. You know, I've been reading articles and watching the games of all the guys before me. You know, like guys like Kareem. Elgin Baylor, Lenny Wilkins, uh, okay. Walt Frazier. Well, some proper questions would at least liven things up as we wait for Herschel here to finally move a piece. I'm yeah. waiting on you. It's your move. Well, since when? Ten minutes ago? <laughs> Edgar over here learned how to play chess before the shot clock era. Ah, <laughs> golden age, yeah, when positions were long and shorts were short. <laughs> Don't think we're gonna take it easy on you. You wanna meet Mr. Cruz, you're gonna have to prove yourself. We got reps to maintain. Okay, okay, no players won more championships than Bill Russell. Mm, Bill the Hill. How many rings did the big man win? Come on. Come on, that's easy, man. That's 11. That one was too easy. It ain't easy to win. No, it is not. So tell me, which team has lost the most NBA championships? On, you know what? That's actually a really tough question. Lakers. You got that one. Okay, okay. A whole bunch of real ballers got selected in the 1998 NBA draft. Vince Carter. Vince Sanity. Paul Pierce. The truth. D. 
Dirk Nowitzki. The big mummy. And Antoine Jameson. The Antoine Jameson. But which player was taking number one overall, gentlemen? Oh, that's uh, Michael Olova Candy. The Candy Man. <laughs> Not bad. Well, well, not bad, son. I am impressed, MP. All right, all right, so are y'all gonna give me that intro to Kenny, though? I'd call him Mr. Cruz if I were you first, but yes, gladly we'll set up a meeting. <laughs> uh, now, nah, there's no guarantee he's gonna let you hoop at Hammond. Kenny's got his own methods. Uh, that's fine. All I want is an intro, that's it. All right, we'll sit back, and I'll text you when Kenny's ready to meet. My man. I thought they were the gatekeepers, though. Yeah, they are, but uh, these guys are still using rotary phones. Oh, come on. <laughs> Cell phones are the single worst thing to happen in society since combustion engines. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh -huh. They set up the meeting, I'll text you when he's ready. All right, man. That sounds good. I appreciate y'all. So you gonna make a move or what? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> come on. Wake up. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. Now look at Cleveland's starting group. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Clarkson, and it's Osman in at the small forward. Jackson, a screen on Garland. Morant. And then Morant ramps it in. And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. Garland, the pass to Clarkson. A screen by Allen. Shots good by Clarkson. And you look at the deals and endorsements MP has gained. He's put himself out there, and that exposure has really upped his popularity. It really has. You know, Greg, more and more fans of the team are becoming MP supporters. MP has reached out and done the work to connect with his fans. Ooh, I rushed that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. And the defense of Jared Jackson Jr., it has become elite. Triple J finishing top five in 2022 in the Defensive Player of the Year vote. And that was the Mobile One Drive. Well worth a second look. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Here's Bain. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Brooks the pass to Jackson. And the three off target. Greg, why do you think Jaron Jackson Jr. made that leap defensively in his game? Kevin Held. Jackson was finally back to 100% in 2022. The ability to kind of fully use his physical tools. And Jaron's still learning from playing night in and night out. Now living up to that massive potential. Here's Bain. Jaron Allen making his last shot. Jackson kicks to Morant. Back to Jackson. Can't get it to fall. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Here's Clarkson. Off on the layup. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Clarkson against Bain, and he lays it straight in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Tillman, he's checked in for Adams. Brandon Clark comes in for Jackson. And Jones subbed in for Bain. Brooks outside. Pass to Morant.
score the basket, his second of two attempts. A flank guard with length. Morant can do a little bit more than just handle himself inside. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin, thanks. I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. He said he honestly doesn't know what to expect. This is the first meeting between these two teams this year. So there'll be some feeling out at the beginning. But he told me sometimes that's when we're at our best. Relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. Kevin, we'll see if that holds true. All right, David, thank you. Sounds like to execute the plan, they're going to have to get that good shot selection. No doubt about it, Kevin. If you want to shoot a high percentage... The Grizzlies trail by six. The wingmen are Bain and Brooks. Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the four. And it's Jones in at the one spot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Jackson finds Bain. The shot, no good. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Good work there as it goes. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Bain looking around. Adams sets the pick for Bain. Shot clock at three. Stolen by Allen. Clarkson against Bain, 13 feet away. It's rebounded by Memphis. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two from the foul. Face team. At the line for the Grizzlies. Shooting's a premium. He should have been drafted earlier. John ja Moran, he's checked in for Tyus Jones. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for Mitchell. I got ball. Clarkson against Bain. Whistle blows, bucket is good. And there are high school reps better than you guys. He also loved that Bain absolutely puts in the work. Oh, high effort guy. High IQ knows exactly where to be on both ends. What a bright future. And a wide open look for Bain. Good. And a nice assist from Moran. Bain's got seven points. What a pass from Moran. He does a terrific job staying alert, seeking out the right opportunities to get his teammates involved. Allen, a screen on Jackson. Love gets to Clarkson. A shot by Clarkson, no good. And so it's Bain with it. He'll bring it up for Memphis. It's a five-point game. Adams with the screen on Garland. Jackson has the open look. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. That's just unfair. 6'11 Jackson just sinking threes. I guess this is the new NBA. Here's Clarkson. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And that's now 10 points for MP. Memphis has gone three to six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And the quickness of Brooks's drive can be overwhelming. Burst inside before the D can react. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Pelicans got the job done. He finished with 52 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Yeah, David in stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Expect them to go to him early and often. Don't want to let that high hand go to waste. Uh, 
than the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Clarkson is out there with Garland. And it's Osman in at the three, the small forward. Adept at fending off aggressive coverage. Mobley already looking like a vet out there. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Memphis keeping it alive with a new 14. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Clarkson surveying the floor. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that. The Cavaliers have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt early. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And the second free throw, good. Memphis has gone 3 of 7 tonight from three point territory. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. Pass to Bain. A three. Here's Adams, and he finishes nicely on the way. Adams has got his first basket of the night. Got that one to go. Okay, now one for four to start of the second half. Garland gets a screen from Clarkson, and the shot goes in. Garland's got the lead up to eight now for Cleveland. The right GA they have, and the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Sexton. They nailed just about every one of their selections. Outside for Jackson. Off target from outside. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. High arcing shot. Mobley with the rebound. The Cavaliers leading by 10. There's Clarkson. 15 points in the game. The baseline J off the mark. Yeah, but they're 3 of 4 to start the second half. Brooks feeling it out of it. Passes it to Bain. Garland against Morant. Adams sets the pick for Morant. Down to five on the shot clock. Bain, no good. Cavaliers have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. But he just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Morant against Garland. It's Morant with the drop. This is what you pay to see. Morant. Drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the four. Morant is out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Brooks in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Clarkson against Jones. Jackson a screen on Clarkson. To the inside. Mobley with the block. Such long arms. Mobley is tough to do anything against. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution, running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Up top, Morant, covered by Rubio. Jones, the pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. Jackson setting the pick here for Jones. Jackson misses. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And that's out of bounds. Ames checked in. Darwin is checked in for the Cavaliers. Off the inbound. And MP throws it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G8, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. 
Yeah, you, know, you like the pick to set up the open shot, but when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better, you'll take it. Adam sets the pick for Morant. Shakes over Garland, and another miss by Memphis. Cleveland's gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. And that one good from Clarkson. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. The shot, no good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that. Inside, as they did in the first half. But they should not get away from that. They, they can still put pressure on the D if they pound it inside. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of <laughs> doubt in my mind. But I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believed in ourselves. Finds the open look, and it's on target. It's been all about Ja tonight. Can score in so many different ways. Clarkson with the ball. He's picked up by Morant, and it's Wade with the jam. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much and start with their defense they've been intense on that end and they can actually help their offense as well Adams sets the pick for Morant looks good is good that's his seventh basket in 12 tries just taking what the defense gives and Morant keeping it simple on offense I love it Clarkson for three another three for three. Cleveland so many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Cavaliers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so checking out their season record, this game will become their 45th win. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for MP. And he's been a well-oiled machine on offense, keeping things simple on this end, getting the looks that he wanted, knocking him down. Shots good by Clarkson. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Just five to shoot. Here's Bain. Misses off the left iron. And Adams with the slam. You have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Here's Neto. So it's Cleveland taking care of business in this. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.